Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. Today what we'll be doing is bringing in weather data into ArcGIS Pro. When I was teaching GIS at a local community college, this is one of the, one of the labs that the students really enjoyed, uh, but it was bringing in weather data into ArcMap. So this is slightly different now. We've got ArcGIS Pro, which is a newer version of a desktop GIS from Esri. Uh, we do have some other videos on um, how to get access to the software for $100 a year. So if you're interested in that, uh, feel free to have a look at those uh, previous videos. So what you do under the map ribbon in your uh, map configuration, add data under portal. We're going to living atlas. We're going to type in weather. And what we want to do is look for NOAA next rad radar I'm going to add that and we're going to get this next rad data for the United States basically this is a 15 minute weather radar updated every 15 minutes and the most severe weather will be in the red so over Oklahoma there will be uh, severe thunderstorms or rainfall and the green would be uh, heavy and then lighter would be blue now if we want to make this uh, nowhere layer transparent this weather radar transparent click on it in the table of contents so it's highlighted in blue go to appearance and then when th this tool here will make it more transparent so you can actually see what's underneath uh, right now we have the world topographic map but we could change that base map to streets at night maybe and let's see what that looks like yeah so that might be maybe a little bit better but you have the blue roads conflicting with the blue in the satellite imagery, the weather radar. Let's see if there's another base map that we could pick off that might be more contrasting. So you do have the swipe, so the swipe feature, so you can actually see how that works. I just click there. So that's un also under the appearance, just underneath the transparency tool. There's the swipe tool. And that swipes from the top. Okay. Uh, let's go back and see if we can find any more weather data. Let's search NOAA. current weather and wind station data as you can see the w you can see the wind directions If you click on the arrow, you can get sky conditions and visibility, temperature, humidity, and wind speed. Very useful. Excellent. So both of these data sets are provided by NOAA, and uh, you can add these into ArcGIS Pro. And this data is being streamed live through the system, through the internet. So as long as you have a web connection, you can access this data. This is just a quick demo. Again, my students uh, at college enjoyed uh, taking this as part of a lab and learning about how you can bring in live data into uh, GIS. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, and we'll see you again. Thanks.